Today I'm going to be doing my first comparison between a, um, a xenon flash tube and an LED flash. Now the LED that I'm going to be using is 10 watt and it doesn't matter if it was 100 or 1000 watts. I know I'm not going to get as bright as um, the, uh, um, the xenon tube flashes but uh, basically what I want to test today is uh, the flash durations to see if see if at a very very small flash duration like a half of a microsecond to a microsecond maybe all the way up to uh, 13 microseconds uh, where I timed I'm sorry 16 microseconds where I timed uh, my uh, YN 560-3 flash to be at its uh, lowest power setting and um, basically just see uh, what it looks like in comparison to the photo flash again I know it's not going to be as bright but um, I believe I can get faster durations. I know I can get faster flash durations, but I want to see if they will be visible um, in the picture. So we are in the dark. Camera's on. I'm going to go ahead and set the f stop to uh, 4.5. The shutter is um, 8 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and turn the ISO up a little bit, uh, 1600, and we will go ahead and take our first photo using, um, uh, let's say 1 8th power, and I measured that to be a duration of 292 microseconds on this flash. Okay, that was too bright. I'm going to turn the ISO down to 80. Try again. Alright, that one worked. Next test is uh, 116. Next test, 132nd. Test 164. And final test for the Xenon Flash at 1 over 128. Okay, first test with the LED, half a microsecond. I'm going to turn the ISO up, probably to 1600. Second test, LED, half a microsecond. Okay, I'm going to match the um, speed light, 16 microseconds.
Okay, so basically there's, <laughs> between all the devices that I have, um, uh, between the GoPro and my phone and the, the screen and um, the audio device that I'm using, there's so much diff more ambient light, even though it's pitch black in here, there's so much ambient light with an 8 second exposure and there's so little light coming out of the LED that you really can't even see. Um, maybe in the last photo, which was 16 microseconds, that should have been the same as the uh, the YN560 at uh, the 1 over 128th power. Um, you could barely make out the letters, but there's so much other ambient light that you just see a big blur of uh, exposure. So I'm um, going to have to try this with uh, a bigger LED and um, uh, maybe some more power and uh, maybe even a larger quantity of LEDs. So that concludes this test.